In a world where everyone is pressuring you to make up your mind and to make a decision, to choose a career, to choose where you want to live, to choose what you want to study, what if you're actually allowed to stay open-minded? A lot of people talk about how we in the modern world can't really be renaissance people anymore. In this world, things have simply gotten too complex. There is no point being interested in the bigger picture anymore. We should all just choose one field, one topic, and just stick to that, and then finish it, and then keep doing that for the rest of our lives. Day after day, in a boring drudge of ever eternal repetition. But what if that's not the case? And what if you can make a happy life for yourself while staying open and while being determined not to determine what you want to do with yourself. I recently got a phone call from a good ENFP friend of mine and she talked about how she was trying to decide what job she wanted. She was torn between whether she should get a job in administration or if she should try to apply to be a manager at her company or workplace. And uh, she couldn't simply make up her mind. Both options to her felt like they had their pros and cons. <laughs> Some part of her wanted to have more responsibility and more creative freedom, but another part of her also felt the need to uh, go for the safe option and to choose a job as an administrator because maybe that was going to be easier maybe that would eventually give her experience so that she could eventually later on go and apply for a position as a manager at that company so she couldn't make up her mind what was the best thing to do what should she do um, and i tried to listen to her and just help her navigate through her thought process and in the process of that what i discovered was this what I like to call the decision-making seesaw. So what I want you to do is I want you to imagine a seesaw. One person on one side and one person on the other side. Each person representing completely opposite decisions. Say that a part of you wants to go to uh, Thailand and live and work there as a teacher for a year just to get the freedom and cultural exchange and to learn new things and to just be free. And then another part of you says, hey, maybe I should, should do the safe thing and just stay here in my hometown, get a cheaper place and start saving money and invest in a house and start making a future for myself. What do I do? What many of you are going to notice is that, hey, I'm stuck on the decision making seesaw. One day I want to go to Thailand and one day I want to settle down and the other day I want to go to Japan and the other day I want to settle down. And you keep going between this, should I be safe or should I take a risk? The decisions making seesaw is an apt metaphor for the ambivalence that a lot of people feel. And you know, when you really think about this and track this over time, you can start to get the idea that, hey, I can't make up my mind. I'm so scattered, I'm so lost. I keep going between totally contradictory options and I keep going back and forth and I don't know what I want anymore. Can I just hire somebody to make a decision for me? What I think is important to consider with the decision making seesaw is that, hey, actually, you have two parts of you. You have a part of you that wants to and needs to have some base level of safety, comfort and structure. A part of you that wants to save. You also have a part of you that wants to take risks, to have new experiences, to try new things. So what if you started building your life around that? Find ways to build a life where you're allowed to change your mind, to try new things and to keep innovating from a safe safety blanket, a place, a structure, some base level of comfort, some ways to keep you anchored while at the same time giving you options. If you are a creative, doomed to constantly change your mind and to consider new options and new eventualities, why not build your life around that, giving yourself the freedom to do those things by allowing you to change your mind and to try new things, while at the same time giving yourself some base structure to work around. If you got this far in the video, I'd really like to recommend that you 
leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.